The Coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP, has requested the security personnel to respect the right of Nigerians to state peaceful protest. CUPP National Secretary Peter Amen, in a statement, he issued criticized alleged attacks on peaceful protesters in different parts of the country. He called on the presidency to hold the police and other security agencies accountable for attacks and infringement on the rights of the masses. Ame urged President Muhammad Buhari to protect the light of democracy handed over to him by the electorate. We're now joined by Benga Komolafe, co-convener, Revolution Now protest, and uh, Shewan Nikpulakwa Kuti. Thank you very much for joining us. Can you hear us, uh, Benga? Mm, yeah, very well. Thank you very much for joining us. Can you um, help um, us understand why the Revolution Now protest is being held once again on its anniversary? Yeah, the protest yesterday uh, was to make a very clear statement that Nigerians' right to peaceful demonstration, peaceful assembly, to express their discontent with gross misrule and grand corruption going on in all phases of life, all levels of government in this country cannot be circumscribed. We cannot be intimidated. Last year, August 5, 2019, the uh, revolutionary campaign for transformation of the social economic life of our country was launched and it was brutally suppressed. And the over 50 leaders of the movement were arrested and incarcerated. And um, the leading figure, Shore, was also uh, uh, imprisoned and uh, has been restricted to Abuja since then. So their thinking might be that uh, with that, every other Nigeria will, will go to sleep. So it was important to relaunch the campaign to make that very clear statement that we cannot be intimidated into silence. A country cannot continue to be run like this and people will be expected to continue to keep quiet. We were we are all witnesses to the fact that we had a brutal lockdown that actually took the life of thousands of Nigeria through hunger and hunger in, induced illnesses um, and, 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 and starvation. We, are, we were all witnesses to the fact that policemen actually killed more people than coronavirus at some point during the so-called uh, horribly mismanaged lockdown. We had a lockdown where there was no palliative for people who had no means of any, any form of livelihood because they have to go out every day to work. People who have no access to any form of safety net Yesterday, we, we, yeah. we, saw, we saw some clips where protesters were screaming against non-violent policemen. Can you tell us what exactly happened in, in those uh, uh, clips? Yeah, that must have been after the brutal clampdown. You know, um, massive amount of uh, tear gas uh, was shot at us yesterday. And a lot of people at some point actually... Uh, were choking and so uh, some people got scared and uh, started uh, shouting at the police. Uh, this was a peaceful protest. There was no reason for them to unleash that amount of terror uh, on people who had gathered peacefully uh, uh, to express their discontent with the state of affairs in their own country. So are, are, you, are, are you confirming um, so that, that there was no provocation before tear gas canisters were fired? Absolutely no provocation. I know your reporter was there and uh, was witness to the fact that no, uh, not only were our people uh, very peaceful, we also took time to actually uh, plead with everybody to make it a point of duty to be absolutely peaceful because we didn't want the distraction of uh, anybody coming around to accuse any of our people of uh, doing anything untoward. To, at any rate, our objective was to reach the member of the public, conscientize members of the public about their rights, and move people out of the stupor of silence and intimidation. 
So we could not afford to uh, do any on the to any member of the public. Uh, so we were consciously very peaceful, very, uh, 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 you know, we, we were absolutely peaceful. There was absolutely no reason for uh, that amount of uh, violent attack. We understand that actually the aim of the government is to uh, ensure that there is no any form of gathering, that people actually don't rally. They don't want people to gather together to do, to express their feelings about how their country is being run. So it, uh, they found it shocking that we could even gather at all. Uh, that, that's what we later learned. And if you see the trend all over the country, that's also what took place. And uh, let's also get your um, um, the thoughts from Omoyele Shawari at this time. Um, uh, was he, um, of course, um, fully behind the uh, the protest at this time? And what's the message from him? Usually, before the protest, we were headed for somewhere else, so which gave us a little time to at least rally ourselves, to at least address our people, and to at least uh, make our position to, uh, known, to make our voice heard about the whole number of issues that is currently killing Nigerians. Uh, uh, because so many people are dying silently right now because of the poor healthcare system and yeah. because of the fact that uh, the coronavirus uh, uh, containment measures have been so horribly mismanaged yeah, Ms. Uh, Ms. to Ms. the extent. Benga, let's, let's, I'm trying to get um, um, a word from um, Omoyele Shawari. Um, okay. Is he fully behind? Is he fully backing these uh, protests? And of course, um, what's the word from him at this time? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Shore is fully aware of all efforts uh, going on to make sure that Nigerians, voice, uh, Nigerians' voices are not muted, that our right to peaceful assembly and protest is not circumscribed, is absolutely excited that despite his uh, restriction and persecution and the fact that he has been contained to Abuja uh, quite illegally, because the Constitution of Federal Republic of Nigeria is very clear that we have freedom of movement. So what has happened to him is actually absolutely unconstitutional. Nobody has the right to circumscribe, I mean, to circumscribe the right of movement in such a whimsical manner. He has done nothing wrong. He has not been caught with any form of harm. He has not been untoward in his conduct, and yet he has been restricted. Uh, so, but despite that, our joy is that uh, Nigerians troop out all over the country yesterday to still uh, make sure that we made our voice heard and we made the point very clear that we cannot continue to be governed this way. Uh, if we continue this way, it's going to be a disaster for everybody. Well, the so disaster has already engulfed a huge part of the country which is uh, the northeast part of the country, large swath of the northwest, already engulfed with low-intensity warfare. Uh, people are dying and bleeding every day uh, out of the misgovernance of the politicians. You will recall that the politicians actually harm these people to rig elections. Uh, usually after election, they can't take the hands back, and they now use the same arm, bought with stolen public funds to unleash their own society. And with 11 million people, on, uh, uh, young people on the streets that should be in school and out of school in the northeast eastern part of Nigeria. It's not surprising.